turbines turned out to be lousy car engines when several automakers tried them out in the 60s, but they can serve as excellent generators. In that capacity they can operate at a constant, optimized speed, and because it's possible to transfer heat from the exhaust to the incoming charge air and recover that energy that would otherwise be lost, they're reasonably efficient and clean when spinning at their sweet spot speed. The number of moving parts is drastically lower than in a piston engine simple, and turbines require minimal maintenance or cooling. Jaguar proposed a range extended hybrid turbine in its fetching 2010 CX-75 concept supercar, but nothing came of it. This year's Geneva show had one concept and one prototype that both featured a series hybrid powertrain utilizing a micro-turbine generator. Pine Inferina's four-door luxury sedan concept was built in conjunction with the Hybrid Kinetic Group, a Hong Kong-based firm involved in the development, manufacturing, and marketing of new energy vehicles and the key components and systems that drive them. It features a 60 kilowatt, 80 horsepower, turbine that achieves 40% thermal efficiency and only requires maintenance every 10,000 hours, if you average just 20 miles per hour that's 200,000 miles. The prototype hails from Chinese automotive R&D company Tech Rules. It's Trev, turbine recharging electric vehicle, supercar solution also employs a large battery that gets topped up as necessary using a micro turbine. The one on display in Geneva produced 30 kilowatts, 40 horsepower, but an 80 kilowatts, 107 horsepower, unit is also promised total vehicle range with such systems can be truly impressive. Tech Rules says 21.1 gallons of diesel will last for 727 miles. The chassis on display was tested at Munza the week before Geneva, and the design is being readied for production, so this concept looks pretty certain to see the light of day. Now that we have refrigerators that can order milk for us when we're running low, Nobody should be surprised that tires will soon be able to notify you via cell phone when they suffer a puncture or slow leak, and or help you schedule repair or maintenance. This new generation of smart tire will also be able to monitor tire wear and schedule maintenance and replacement. This helps maximize vehicle uptime for fleets today, and in tomorrow's autonomous ride-sharing world, it'll help vehicles maintain themselves. It is also possible for smart connected tires to inform the cloud and warn other motorists about things such as puncture risk hazards. Goodyear IntelliGrip features a sensor mounted to the inside of the tire tread that directly measures actual pressure and temperature. Some such readings with today's tire pressure monitoring systems provide inferred values. These sensors also compute information about tire wear and the available friction of the road surface. All of this information is communicated with the car and the cloud. The sensor is powered by a piezoelectric generator. A piezo crystal gets compressed every time the sensor gets deflected as that part of the tire hits the ground, squeezing out a few electrons. Goodyear has equipped some cars in the California-based semi-autonomous Tesla car sharing serviced sloop with this technology to gauge its usefulness in fleet management. The fetching and feathery aluminium Alpine A110 that made its debut in Geneva Sports World first technology in its rear brake calipers. For one thing, it's an entirely aluminium design, whereas most aluminium calipers still use an iron mounting bracket. Next. The electric parking brake and hydraulic single cylinder service brake are integrated into one, with an electric screw jack motor serving to move the piston in parking, emergency brake actuation. Together, this saves 5.5 pounds across the rear axle. But wait, there's more, the system is intelligent enough to monitor itself and reclamp if necessary in cases where a parking brake is set while the brakes are very hot and there's risk of slippage as the brakes start to cool and deform. Brembo also supplies the four-piston monoblock front calipers, but they break no new technical ground 